Vanakam good morning in this video we are going to discuss about the acclimatization to the high altitude acclimatization to high altitude is the body mechanisms undergo changes to bring the adaptation to high altitude is acclimatization to high altitude so it is the adaptive mechanism to the high altitude in the high altitude partial pressure of the oxygen is automatically decreased due to the less parametric pressure at the high altitude so in the hypoxia stimulate the peripheral hemoreceptors its peripheral hemoreceptor present in the carotid sinus and aortic arch will sensitive to the hypoxia hypoxia and hypercapnia and acidosis it is so hypoxia stimulate the peripheral hemoreceptor it produces the hyperventilation increases the ventilation due to the increased ventilation it decreases the pco2 pco2 is washed out so decrease pco2 it produces the respiratory alkalosis bicarbonate level is elevated respiratory alkalosis so for the compensatory mechanism bicarbonate is excreted through the urine so this is the earliest feature of the acclimatization changes occur in the high altitude in the acclimatization of the high altitude the diffusion capacity of the oxygen increases due to the increase pulmonary ventilation and increases the pulmonary blood flow tissue capillary density is increases so diffusion capacity of the oxygen is increases due to the increased pulmonary ventilation and pulmonary blood flow and increase tissue capillary density volume lung volume and capacities are increases mainly vital capacity and maximum valve ventilations increases in the high altitude resistance due to the respiratory muscle hypertrophy chest also expands in the high altitude resistance the oxygen dissociation curve shifts to the right side due to the hypoxia and increase 2 3 type of spoclis rate and alkalosis so it shifts the oxygen dissociation curve to right side facilitate the oxygen release to the tissue in the acclimatization the high altitude kidney plays the important role it excretes the bicarbonate ions so compensate the respiratory alkalosis it is also products the produce the more amount of the erythropoietin so it increases the rbc and polycythemia is more common and hemoglobin production also increases packed cell volume also increases in the cardiovascular changes heart rate blood pressure is increases coronary circulation also increases cutaneous planchetic circulation is decreases due to the sympathetic vaso constriction at the tissue level it increases the capillary density oxidative enzymes are increases increases the number of the mitochondria it releases the vascular endothelial growth factor fibroblast growth factor angiogenin and increases the amount of the myoglobin and increases the cytochrome oxidase these are increased uh, helpful to deliver the more oxygen to the tissue at high altitude thank you for watching this video if you like this video press the like button and share your friends those who are not subscribe this channel please subscribe these videos briefly discuss the physiology topics you must read the physiology textbooks thank you once again